Here we have two vessels containing water. They are linked to each other through a pipe. The water level is the same in both, so of course the water will be still. The same will occur to these balls. If the surface is leveled, they remain still. Well, now the surfaces are not level anymore. Water will start to flow, as would occur to these balls. The greater the difference between them, the greater the flow will be. Of course, water will flow from the higher to the lower position. In this case, we need external help. We must overcome the height difference delta h plus this extra h. In short, these are the two situations that we find in practice. At the left, the water flows by itself. At the right, we need a little help. We'll install the pump. In both, there is a term hf. It represents the friction losses that occur in the flow. We call them head losses. Let's consider this small circuit. Head losses occur in pipes, fitting, valves, wherever the flow is modified. Let's see how we calculate them in pipes. Head losses are proportional to the kinetic energy. They are also proportional to the extension of the pipes and inversely proportional to their diameters. Now we must add this coefficient to our expression. And it's ready. We find F using the Moody diagram. It may seem complicated, but it's easy, as you will see further. Head losses also occur in fittings, valves, and so on. We call them minor losses. As in the case of pipes, these head losses are proportional to the kinetic energy. A K appears in the expression. We find the values for it in tables like this. Let's do an example. Let's consider this small circuit. If we want a flow of 2 liters per second, we must have a head difference H1 minus H2 to overcome the head losses. We'll assume that the water temperature is 20 degrees Celsius, so its kinematic viscosity will be 10 to the minus 6 squared meters per second. Let's begin by calculating the head losses in the pipes. This will be the formula. The velocity is given by this formula and we find 1.02 meters per second. The kinetic energy will be 0.053 meter. Now we calculate the Reynolds number. The what? Never heard about it before. Okay, we'll make another video talking about that. I promise, it's very important. We find it is equal to 5.1 times 10 to the 4. Here it is in the Moody diagram. Now we have to find the K over D relationship. K equals 0.06 mm for plastic pipes, so K over D equals 0.0012. There it is in the Moody diagram. And that's how we find F equals 0.0245. Bringing those values to this expression, we find the head losses in the pipes 2.597 meters. It's not over yet. We must calculate the minor losses using the values of this table. We just have to find the fittings and valves that appear in our circuit, such as these ones. We have six 90 degrees bands, one gate valve and one globe valve. The sum of the coefficients is 12.60, so the corresponding head losses will be 0.668 meters. In short, we'll have 2.597 meters in pipes plus 0.668 meter minor losses, which leads to 3.265 meters of total head losses. This must be the head difference in the circuit. See, it's not that hard. But I still have questions about this Mr. Moody diagram and that Mr. Reynolds number. And you should have. We'll make a video for these two subjects. Oh, and if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like, comment, share and subscribe. Hit the bell so you can be notified of my next videos.